Hey guys, this is Kent and you're watching Diagraphics. Today I want to show you how to create this camera shutter or camera aperture inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Then go to the line segment tool, draw a line that is four squares wide, like so, and make it so it aligns with this line on the grid right here. Now give the stroke a thickness. I will choose five points like so. The thickness of the stroke will decide how far apart the shutters are from each other. Now go to the rotate tool, hold down the all key so you see these small dots beside the crosser, then click in the middle of this square. I am making my camera aperture with six shutters, which means I have to divide 360 degrees by 60 because that equals six. If you want more or less shutters, you can take 360 degrees and divide it by the amount of shutters you want and put down the number here. For now, I will use 60 degrees. Now click copy and this will make another line that is offset by 60 degrees. To repeat the last step you did, hold down the control key and click D. On Mac, it's command D until you have this shape right here. Now go to the ellipse tool then go to the middle of the hexagon, click and hold, then hold down Alt and Shift key. Then drag the circle until it's three squares tall and it aligns with this line right here and this line right here. Now go to the selection tool, select everything and go to object and expand and click OK. This will make it so that the strokes are no longer strokes but actual shapes as you see here. Now zoom in a little bit. Now you want to go to the shape builder tool and hold down the all key so you see a minus sign beside the arrow and then click and drag until you just delete all these strokes outside the circle like so. Now release the all key so it's a plus again and then you want to click this triangle right here and hold and drag all the way to this small triangle right here. This will merge the shapes together. Do the same thing all the way around. Now we want to ungroup everything, but you cannot just right click here and click ungroup. You have to deselect everything and click it again. And now you can click ungroup. This is important later in the video. Now unselect everything again and select all these shutters right here. All the way around like this. Now right click and click group. This will make it so when you select one of the shutters, you select them all and you can give them a color together. Now we want to do the same thing with the strokes. So select the circle, hold down shift key and select the lines. Make sure that the lines go all the way from the circle and through this shape and connects with the circle down here. If your selection of the line ends right here and you don't see this, it means that you ungroup too early as I mentioned previously in the video. Now select all the lines like this, right click one of them and click group. Now you can give them a color too if you want, like so. Now you have two options. If you want the stroke to be a color and the shutters to be another color, you need to keep this stroke right here. If you want only the shutters and a see-through background, you can just click the stroke and delete it with the delete key. And now you have the shutters only and a transparent background, which I prefer. And this is how to draw a camera shutter or a camera aperture inside Adobe Illustrator. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching.